Hey everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Lordran. Back after recording the previous episode almost immediately and I just thought of something. I thought that I'm gonna go up and ring the bell because in that other area um, it doesn't let you pass until you kill the Moonlight Butterfly and I was thinking what if this area is similar? What if I go to the exit and it's not gonna let me pass until I rung the bell and if I'm there and I have to backtrack, that's gonna fucking drive me crazy. So I'd rather get this over with and ring it. You know, it's not gonna do anything in terms of timing. Um, but if this is needed, it's gonna make things a lot easier. I'm gonna do a cutscene skip. So yeah, we're back, we're back. Again, almost immediately after recording the previous episode. So, which you're actually going to see two days later because yesterday, which is tomorrow, right now, I'm going to be finally streaming. Really, really going for a stream this time. I know, it might seem unbelievable, but... By the time you're seeing this, that stream has already passed. There's a mindfuck for you, right? It's what we're all about on the Mr. Sketchhead show. I wish this was actually a show. It's kind of a show. Whatever, what the fuck am I talking about? I am making zero sense, but... Apparently, that's just the kind of day it is today, holy shit. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Listen, I got this weapon. This weapon is pretty dope. So, my honest thinking is, what? Hold on. That's really weird. Let me just check my Recording for a second. One, two, three. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to check because I noticed that, you know, I have this little mixer right there. Uh, advantage of face cam, now I can actually point to it. And. Fuck. So it really is just a guess. And I noticed that the LED is showing that I'm recording in mono, or mono, as in only on one side, which would be very bad. Hopefully I'm not doing... Fuck, I am doing that kind of, aren't I? Okay, I might have to do some audio trickery here, because I think I might be screwing it up here. Uh, and I know exactly why, because I was cleaning, and I wiped down the mixer and I must have like accidentally adjusted that knob the pan this is gonna be panned a little bit I think fuck well happens sometimes I can just down mix it into mono and that's gonna bad guy It's gonna hopefully f solve things for us. Not even hopefully. That's definitely gonna solve it. If you want audio trickery trips, tips, come to the boy. Interesting that this level has two bosses. Um, This is annoying though because the explosions are sometimes difficult to avoid because of the rubble here in this room. But it does like no damage. Mad dramatic death. It does actually look like the... Hey, that's not actually that heavy, is it? There's no way that's gonna happen, but 
it's nice to keep it in the rotation. Gonna need to get more endurance for that. <laughs> Escape on crystal. <laughs> yes. Nice. We're gonna escape on a crystal. Okay, again, just to reiterate my previous point, it really does look like the previous Blight Town area was just a fluke. I must have like gotten a really bad like enemy spawn because shit's not been ridiculous since then. That that was ridiculous. Um but again, maybe something made the game go haywire. I'm getting so many embers, but I think the old kind of the age-old saying, not even saying, but the age-old, I'm trying to think of the word, tactic, I guess, of Dark Souls where elemental weapons are not actually that good, holds true here as well. Nah. I mean, there's certainly more enemies. Fuck, and I'm terrible at dodging. I don't know, I'm playing like an asshole. I'm really playing like an asshole. I've gotten hidden by everything up to now. <laughs> Alright, never mind. I wonder if you can spawn a bonfire here. Hell yeah, you can. Seems like the appropriate place. Although I don't know where exactly we need to go. I'm assuming you need to go back through... Um, the door and shit. But maybe you need to go down to the basin. I'm like really working towards being able to use that armor piece, if you couldn't tell. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be so good. This The defense on this, I just like blew a load, almost. The defense on this thing is absolutely insane. We got the Abyss too. Which I think I might go for. Because it's early days. I'm strong, so it's like, why not, you know, unless I get like something ridiculous, it's just a gargoyle, and small. Fuck. Maybe I was a little bit arrogant. Maybe I'm gonna get taught a lesson. Oh no! Okay, because this guy has like no HP. We gotta get rid of the gargoyle. It fucking keeps flying. Cool. We got this, boy. He can do all the electric butt slams he can, or he wants. He dead. Guark Iron Crown. We'll check out the Guark Iron Crown. I still don't think the fucking rewards are worth it here. Um... Okay, it's gonna not allow us to maintain fast rolling, which is kind of critical to this build. I mean, listen, for sure, having this many enemies all over the fucking place does mean that... Uh, 
leveling is way easier. What if I take off my... Okay. Still doesn't work. I'm like... Experimenting, if you can't tell. God, that was the worst slows. That death is still going. And I managed to like check out the door. Alright, looks like we need to go backtracking. Uh, which is a little bit annoying because... Me and navigating through this area are not... Like, on the best of terms. Is that I never fucking know where you need to go. It's like somewhere over here. In fact, not even somewhere. It is over here. As I get on, get stuck on the shrubbery. The foliage. Yeah. Is this the one? Yeah, yeah. Because the other one leads to the cat. It's weird, like, you never ever come through this area backwards, right? Like, I don't even... I've done it for sure, because... I've played this game so many fucking times that I've done everything. Oh, the Hydra is still there. I really don't want to fight it. So I think... I'm gonna piece the hell out of here. Because that's gonna happen. Luckily the Hydra does friendly fire. Which is very convenient. And the enemy placement is absolutely insane. I'm trying to get... If you can't tell what I'm trying to do... I like that the Hydra is like killed half the shit that's here. But what I'm trying to do is get out of range of its water blast. Which I think I've managed to do. What the hell was that attack? I didn't know it does it like a double spin thingy. Grazie. Hey, hey rusted key. Not sure that's good for anything. Maybe it's good to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I think... So I've gotten... Two, like, rotations. But... If this kind of trend keeps going... <gasps> don't even think about that. I just realized how stupid I was. This trend keeps going by the final run. My, the enemies are going to be like filling the entire screen. Hey, we haven't had new Londo either, have we? Which, I'll say that I'm not sure this is the tactic to increase the difficulty here. To be 100% honest. You can come here? Interesting. But well, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I'm not gonna prejudge anything. Especially since I got a build like this. Got an axe, but if I remember correctly, that axe is not very good. I was just about to say, I think I got myself killed with 19k souls as well. So the goal here is not to lose that. Speak Greek. Man, one day maybe I'll be able to speak Greek and pick it up. That would be the shit, if I can be honest with you. So yeah, again, whether this trend will continue, that's a question, and whether I'm gonna kinda like it or not, that's the question. Because, you know, like, f making the game difficult by just fucking filling the screen with enemies is 
exactly the opposite of what Dark Souls is, but still, you know, this is not like me shitting on anything. Because it's early days out here. It is early days. Hey, hey. Dex is Dex. Let's get some. I like taking no damage from anything. That's a running theme here. Can I? How weird is it to have a bonfire in New Londo, right? Like, that's pretty... That ain't something you see every day. I wanted HP. Just gonna make a... Try to make a hella strong build. But like this level of... Kind of armor. Which is kind of ridiculous what I have right about now. I think we'll be okay. Even with less HP. But it never hurts to pump yourself up. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of curious what's over in the Valley of the Drakes. But I'm gonna hold off. Hotline Bling is over there. No! This is, this is exactly what I was saying. This is exactly what I was saying. And this, I'm using the correct controller too, fuck. I hate that it does that. God damn it. See, here is the thing. I've talked about this before, right? I have two PlayStation controllers. One has a busted L2 in that it doesn't always re register. The other one, this one, has a busted circle button in that... If I hold it down, sometimes it detects that I'm releasing it for a split second, causing me to jump. As you saw there, I think I'm definitely, definitely mentioned this before. But honestly, the way I'm thinking about things is, hopefully, if everything goes right, I am mere weeks away from getting a PlayStation 5. So, hold on, is the water drained? No, no, it's not. So, like, my thinking is, at this point, shelling out for two brand new PlayStation 4 controllers would be just slightly pointless. The homeboy is here somewhere. He's gonna be on the roof, isn't he? That's my line of thinking anyways. I've survived with this PlayStation controller, or these two controllers for this long. I'll survive for another couple of weeks. God, I can't wait to get a PlayStation 5. I mean, I'll still use these uh, for... Shit, you're... well, I'm right. I still need these for things, for like p PC recordings. Whatever, maybe I'll shout out for one. One good one. If it turns out you have to go towards the Valley of the Drakes, I'm gonna flip my shit yes no which one offers better defense oh fuck yeah the this is better 
I'm going a bit min maxi here. It's after the trauma of the Blight Town experience. I'm like, I gotta OP, OP myself up. But yeah, if it turns out that you have to go towards the Valley of the Drakes, I'm gonna lose my shit. But hopefully that ain't the case. Um, I think it's the case. I don't know of any like door where I could like exit. It's gotta be the valley. I mean, it's good that I found Andre because he got the dope equipment now. Or like, not not even dope equipment, because I had dope equipment, but I can equip it. Damn iframes though. And okay, apparently I can't kill a single hollow. Interesting. <laughs> like taking no damage. <laughs> Alright. Let's not get overconfident. It's how you get your ass killed. This is gonna be bad. Pretty much have to like... No! Uh, <clears throat> if I lose this run because of stupid shit like this... I'm gonna be mad. How many deaths? That's three deaths. Fuck. Why did I fall off there? Poor K. Poor Quay. That was very, very irritating. This shit like ridiculous. Why have a dragon there? That's like the worst place to put... Out of all the places to put a dragon in this game, that's the worst place to put it. Yes, please. Please do that. nerve-wracking the most nerve-wracking thing is that I only need two dumbass deaths to lose everything to lose everything to be slightly dramatic about the situation is that the exit oh shit <laughs> nice Hell yeah, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Guys, speak. They're teasing me with speak Greek. Oh, and speaking of areas where you have potential for stupid deaths. The catacombs. What did that say? That is some like dumbass name. Where is it? Fetchitory re <laughs> Chicken fetchitory. Some tasty shit. I like me some chicken fetchitory. I'm gonna put my bonfire here. I might just do a quick in and out of this area. As in, drop down, kill the boss, move on. Reinforce armor, we're gonna go for our... this. Let's get more vitality. I'm gonna reverse hollowing too, because why not? I don't think I can kin... maybe I can kindle. I can. And I'm gonna do. Do 
which is good if you're like dropping down takes Estus and getting to the boss takes Estus so again I'm trying to make this as low risk as possible I'm still two shotting everything so not too concerned that's seriously one of those mosquito things Peace out, boys. Yeah, we have mosquitoes. They managed to somehow drop attack. Hey, we haven't seen these guys in a while. These guys were around before, right? Yeah, we haven't seen Ulusil Gardens in a while. That's an area that dropped off a little bit. I'm getting the catacombs often. It was just Capra, Quell Air. Fought this thing so many times, it's like... Second nature. This is like fucking Monstro in The Binding of Isaac. You get it all the time. Easy money. That's still worse. Alright. How am I doing on time? Still good. I'm just thinking when I started my recording. Like this is a almost a freebie playthrough. I know where to go here by the way. Actually, do we need to go down to the boss? I don't think the boss works here. <laughs> that sounded sounded like a really mundane statement. Yeah, I don't think the boss works here. He's in the other office. But you know what I mean. Although it might do. Let's check it out because you, you need to go up where you enter this area. At least the last time, that's how it... That's how it was. Like, I'm still incredibly strong. It's not the issue. Hey, hey. The exact thing I don't need. Let's just have a look. I have seven Estus. Oh, it's a Gwen. that I can just stun lock to hell. See you, Gwen. Apologies. He like dra dies even more dramatic than normal, which I completely understand. That was kind of pathetic. Are we gonna thank you? Still not better. I have like hella good equipment. Can I actually go? I can actually go. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. To min max a little bit. I'm gonna put my bonfire just outside. We're gonna buy shit. And then I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Listen, this is like basic roguelike tactics. I do this with Isaac as well. If I know that the run is of a quality that shit just doesn't matter, I tend to be like quicker through the areas and kind of do it in like a get it over with type.
How do I have three of them? Whatever. Okay, I can definitely put something else on now. Yep. It's what I wanted. I want to be Skeletor. Just for a little bit. Um. Hello? I'm departing, aren't I? What? No! Yet. Yet, yet, yet. Well, if there was ever a thing as a forced quit, I think this is it. I'm gonna restart. Hopefully this doesn't break because I would be very upset if this run broke. Um, but I'm gonna do it. I'll restart because I have the manager open and everything, so a little bit weird. Yeah, well, I guess that wraps up this episode of The Binding of Lordran. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll try sorting this out and we'll see what happens next time around. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe as always. Uh, turn on post notifications if you don't have them on already. Really helps out. Appreciate you guys as always. Thanks for watching and peace out. Goodbye.